All right, AJ Vickery is here now this week to talk about some neat tech gadgets. You were just at the big... Um, the massive show, yeah. The massive show down, down at Canada Place. So we'll talk about that at the end if we have time. Yep. But this is the first thing. Well, it's interesting. Yeah, if you take a look at that, it's a it's a very strange looking keyboard. Yeah, it's It's not it's something huge. you think about. Tip it forward just to let yeah. people... Yeah, ergonomic. And the thing about it is that it's actually designed to make uh, your to, to avoid things like carpal tunnel syndrome. Right. So what it has, it has. Let me turn it around like this, so people. Like can if I was to ask you to yeah. stick your hands out, the natural position for your hands is like this. So there's there's an arc here, which right. covers what they call the gable, and there's also a natural split here. So that if you put your hands like this, that's a more comfortable position. Right. So the point is, is that if you're in front of your computer for hours a day typing, then what happens is people develop these these injuries. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. to avoid that. Um, there's keyboards like this. This one's from Microsoft. It's about fifty-five dollars. Oh, that's um, not bad. Yeah, it's a very handy. Are you, are you sure you didn't just leave this out in the sun? And work. <laughs> and it work? Yeah. Show people how you this type. This is exactly what happened to my Nazareth record when I was eleven years old, and I left it out in the sun. Yeah. See, I've had carpal tunnel, yeah. so I understand that. It's not so fun. that this would be a keyboard that for you, great. then. Yeah, and there's All a lot of things to think about. Like your chair is very important, and oh, but also your keyboard. yeah, absolutely, yeah, go nuts, yeah. And it's actually it's weird because you're at an angle as well, so there's a seven degree slope, but it's a natural position, and it's actually fairly comfortable to get used to it and and continue typing. All right, let's talk about a couple that other things. Cool stuff. Well, lots of nanos out there these days. Right. Well, there's different things that you can do with them. Uh, I thought this one was interesting. It's a it's an actual voice uh, recorder, so you can actually just plug it in. And wow. now you can take this into your classroom, into your business meeting. You can actually record the different things oh, that are going on and play those back later. Cool. Yeah, so very handy. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one. This is what company is that? Uh, this is, is that? a company from AirPlay. Okay. And uh, and they also have this device as well. And it's for an FM transmitter. And this is interesting because it actually allows you to connect to your home stereo right. or your car stereo. So right. what's cool about that is now you just dial into the radio station and you can play all of your music oh. through your nano. So you can connect it That's other cool. than just speakers. Another good idea. Same yeah. company, right? How much are these? Uh, well, these are about, about $50 for the um, FM transmitter right. and about $70 for the microphone. This is going to be really popular, this yeah. microphone again. Look at how neat. What ever happened to the Sony Walkman? <laughs> I was kind of digging that. I have one. <laughs> it, it, the same thing so that Nats. happened to your Santana record. Yeah, I guess. No, it was Nazareth. No. Nazareth, Nazareth. Sorry. So I got Nazareth. one other thing to show here. This is kind of cool. So basically, we brought lots of digital cameras on in the past. Yes. Uh, this one's by Hewlett Packard as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a 7.2 megapixel. 7.2. 7.2. The thing I like about this is that it has the ability to do a few different things. Right. You can slim your picture, right. so you can actually like make, <gasps> make yourself a little skinnier. bit thinner in it. Excellent. But it actually has another feature, and I'll just what? kind of hold it steady here. It's called blemish remover. So if I can actually go really? in, yeah, no believe way. it or not, I can go into myself here and find out where I've got this blemish, and I can actually just Are press the button. Are you looking for a zit on your face I'm on, looking that, for on it, TV? Yeah. And I just popped Good it off. You, <laughs> you just popped it off. Well, because nice. I don't have any zits, nice I, I actually took I took care of a mole. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you, you removed That's the mole? Amazing. I removed the mole. <laughs> you did. All right, we should do this with Squire. We can, can we make him taller and bulkier and clean well, you his guys face make up? you thinner. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm That's all about your that. Speed. You have the makeup yeah. for TV, right, so that you can hide those things. But, but uh, in the real world, we don't wear them all day. Very cool. All right, so how was the convention? You know what, I think that uh, it's worth checking out. It's about yeah. 30 bucks to get into it, but um, I went to a few different booths while I was down there, yeah. and uh, they're, they're actually doing a, lo a lot of hiring. They're looking for a lot of candidates. Oh. And EA, as an example, is spending up to $25,000 in signing bonuses for applicants. So if wow. you know anything You're about kidding. technology or you want to work in the Sign business, up. All right. it's worth looking at. Too. We are out of time. Uh, get connected on Saturdays at 5 p.m. G4 Tech TV. Thank you so much, AJ. We'll talk to you tomorrow, everyone. Have a good